and welcome to another episode of Happy Home Paradise. Today I am building Claude's home game hideaway. Uh, so I built this a long time ago <laughs> and I forgot about it, but I liked the design and I liked the pictures and I didn't want this build to fade into obscurity. So this is going to be less of like a, a, a recountation of what I did uh, and more of a remembrance, you know? I don't know why I made the choices that I made, but I made them and now I'm going to comment on them. Number one, the choice to put the trees with the little lights on them was super fun. And I love the lights. I think that they uh, add to that kind of like technology, video game kind of vibe. Of course, you know, that's not what they're there for. They're there for Christmas, but you know, we can pretend. Uh, I'm obviously struggling a little bit with this house. <laughs> We've been on this for a, for a little bit, uh, and I seem to be just a little unsure of, of what to do here. Uh, I think that, I'm just gonna throw some stuff out there. I think that personally now, I would have wanted to do, like, something to maybe match the colors that are on the tree, or maybe like some classic video game colors like red and blue. Um, but it seems that I am settling on I red and white. Which is perfectly fine. I think that it's neutral. Um, what I decided to do for this build was build an arcade. Rather than like a house that has like video games in it. Um, because if you want a home game hideaway, I think that you should just go all out. You know, I think that you should just go all for the video game part of it instead of you know limiting yourself to oh no i have to have a house first nah you can sleep on the benches on the little on your little arcade machines you know uh so yeah, look see blue and red see i know what i was trying to do uh, so blue and red is obviously what i was trying to do oh look and there's the blue see all right so I am, I am figuring something out here to fit whatever theme I'm going for. So the house is red, the plants are blue and red, and then the fence is blue. I put it everywhere. My goodness, there's so much fence here. Y'all see those butterflies in the bottom, uh, uh, left of the screen? Sorry, I just had to figure out which one was left. Um, they are having a little party over there. Why are there so many? Does that normally happen? I think they got stuck or something. I think I remember seeing them like flying around the regular island nearby the house, but they they seem to be a little trapped. Oh well, I mean, what, what can you do? Um, so what am I? I am trying to get. Oh look, I'm taking advantage of those rocks. I I figured out you could place rocks uh outside of builds, and now that is the only thing that I want to do ever. I put rocks everywhere now. Um, I have a, I have like a vending machine and a capsule machine, uh, machine outside of the arcade, so that when you leave, you can, you know, pop out, get yourself a drink, I just want people to spend as much money at, th at this arcade as possible, you know? Um, I'm getting you when you leave, I'm getting you when you come in. Uh, this is about to be, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't, I think that I was struggling here. This is not my niche, like, I don't build, uh, arcades. I build cottages full of flowers, and so I was not doing well. <laughs> but what I did like about this was that um, the lights from the games like kind of illuminated the room so that I didn't have to do a lot of overhead lighting myself. I don't think I keep that there. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember that computer like computer thing being there. And I don't think it stays, but we'll see together if I, I do get rid of it or not. Um, there's me not wanting to put things up against the wall and then having to, you know, you know, not do the thing that I think in my head is like the logical thing of not putting things up against walls. There's just not enough space. I can't wait until I unlock bigger rooms. So this is this is on Starmore because I wanted to be able to get as mo as, as much happy home like houses as possible, and I had already done a bunch on my main island. So I decided to move on to my secondary island and start doing happy home uh, vacation houses over there. So I don't have like a lot of the new upgrades that you get as you go through the DLC. I just have like the bare bones stuff. Uh, this is I think like maybe my fourth 
vacation house on this save. So, oh look, I did get rid of the computer. The computer is gone. I replaced it with a cute little stereo, which I love that stereo. It is super cute. Um, these snack bags were so fun. I, I wanted to make this thing look a little bit, you know, like people were throwing stuff everywhere. Um, and they have so many different variations and you can do so much. Like why can you, there's so many variations for these little, these little snack bags. You know, you can pick, first of all, what snack is coming out of them. Someone spent like a long time coding that. Being like, I'm going to give you so many options for these snack bags. Um, and then I sort of, you know, I guess figuring out if I could play with any of the, like, you know, because I know you can click some of the uh, arcade games or like the claw machine and see what they do, um, which is fun. I like these lights. I don't think I keep them. I think they're too distracting. I might be... I might be wrong. Yeah, no, I'm getting rid of them. See? I remember. <laughs> it isn't completely gone from my memory. Uh, there's... I think I think I do red and then blue. Uh, there's the red and the blue theme again. Because I stick to... Colors. That's... <laughs> I am not... I, I do think, like, looking back on it now, that it kind of is a little, like... I don't think I like the red and the blue now. I think red and white might have been better. Or maybe red and... Gr no, red and green is Christmas. I don't know. The red and blue feels kind of hostile. Like, I, I feel like... Bad things are gonna happen. They're, they're, they're like, warring colors. Uh, so that's me, I guess, figuring out if I can walk... Oh, right! You have to figure out if you can walk through it. Because you've got these, these snack things on the ground. And you can't walk through them. You can't walk through the snack packages. Which, you know, I think that you should, kind of like paper, but I can understand why you can't. Uh, the security camera was a choice. I like that we're putting lore, I guess, into into these. <laughs> why would I put a poster of this guy in his house? <laughs> I never do that. <laughs> I like how I'm, I'm trying to remember what was going through my head when I when I was building this. Okay, that's a bad idea. I don't. Please tell me I don't stick with that. Oh my gosh. I think like, I was trying to- Come on, get rid of him. Yes, dude! Oh, wonderful. Alright, that's- I like those little, uh, sign things. I just think that them being, like, in a corner together is a little distracting. Did I do the same painting? No, I didn't do the same painting twice. See? You know, it's got a lot of stuff on the wall. There is a wallpaper, I think, that does that, like, normally. And they put a bunch of stuff on the wall. I don't know if I didn't have it, or maybe I didn't like it. Uh, but I just put a bunch of stuff on the wall, made the made it feel cluttered and whatever. So, um, I, I polish everything. Well, no, I don't, because I only have one polish at this moment in time. Because I haven't done enough houses to get all of the polishing. Uh, and then I told him it was done, and then he got to tour it, which is wonderful and good for him. And that, we'll, we'll watch him go around really fast. And that'll be the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.